John Voight, a Hollywood star for almost 50 years, but he wasn't always a conservative. Check this out. Of all the dispositions and habits which lead to political prosperity, religion and morality are indispensable supports. In vain would that man claim the tribute of patriotism who should labor to subvert these great pillars of human happiness, these firmest props of the duties of men and citizens. And that's George Washington from his farewell address. You've, you've lived in California for a long time, since the 1970s. The situation clearly isn't getting any better. It's getting worse. We're, we're trying to diagnose what's going on here. What do you think, in your estimation, is the problem? All of us, who have li I've lived here in the, since the 70s. So uh, I've seen it accumulate, the, the, uh, the homeless problem, uh, you know, the, the economic problem here, and uh, mismanagement of the, of the state. It's gotten worse recently, you know. I mean, this is a tremendous uh, place, California. It's the fifth largest economy in the world. We should be taking care of it. And to see it, you know, being destroyed in this way, people are leaving in droves. And uh, somebody's going to come to the rescue here. What, what, is, what is happening here that is so wrong? What, I mean, you, you have this huge homeless population. We were in Skid Row last night. Mm -hmm. What do you do about that? What's the answer? Well, the, first of all, the answer is leadership. You have to have proper leadership. You have to have people who really want to solve something. Uh, and, uh, and, and unfortunately, we don't have those kind of people. You know, well, we had President Trump take a look at the problems when he came into office, and he solved them one after the other because he's a person who's a doer and he's a, so a problem solver. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and therefore he accomplished all those things. And now we have another person in office, uh, and they're systematically just... Uh, eliminating all of the progress that he made. Right. That's, that's their agenda. As a state, you guys seem to be working to decriminalize, to soften punishments for low-level crimes. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I heard just, well, I think, just the other day. problem of morality okay. in, in our state, you know. Uh, they, they don't know what right and wrong is. That's, it seems like something simple like that, you know. Sure. So that they pass on people who are dangerous to the community. Yeah. And, and we've seen lots of, uh, you know, unfortunate things happen. A lot of people have been victimized by so many people. And then they put them back on the streets, too. Are people in this state waking up to the damage that's being caused to their quality of life by this agenda? Well, I would certainly hope so. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, and this election is very important. It's, it, yeah. it's all very serious. And I don't know when it's going to turn around, but I'm sure it's going to turn around. I'm sure... Uh, little by little, it's going to turn around. Look at what's happening all over the world. In Iran, look what's happening in Iran. Mm -hmm. People are standing up. People are standing up here, too. The, the, the parents are, are t taking on this responsibility of, of uh, uh, standing up against the attacks on family, you know, and on their children. I wanted to ask you about Gavin Newsom. He's probably running for president um, as a leader of this state. Um, I, I, I don't want to talk too much about uh, Gavin Newsom or any, nope. any of these people. Uh, they don't have very much of a, of a bench. I mean, it's, it's, they have nobody. Yeah. The people are not uh, capable. And uh, so, I mean, look at the damage that's been done uh, in all these states, you know, the behavior when the riots took place and all of this. Um, they have no one. Gavin, Gavin Newsom is, uh, has failed our state, and now they're grooming him to run for the presidency. Well, they have, they have nobody else. Um, I guess just finally, you've got a new movie coming out. I just wanted to ask you about that. We have a terrific cast, and there's a couple of stars that are going to come out of this cast, this ensemble. The name of the film is uh, Dangerous Game, the Legacy Murders. It's good for this time of year, I suppose. Yeah, you know, and, and people who like this kind of thing, it's very well done. A thriller with John Voight, just in time for Halloween. Dangerous Game, The Legacy Murders. 
debuts on digital platforms to buy or rent on October 21, 10 days before Halloween.